All right, good morning, everybody. Look at it, it is foggy as hell, and it's 5.45 a.m. Back out here at Shelter Island with my buddy James, and we are going to be fishing for spotties. And maybe get lucky and land a halibut, who knows? It's a bay, we never know what the hell we're gonna get. But I'm gonna be trying to throw something I have never thrown in the bay. Well, I've thrown it in the past, a long time ago. Maybe thrown it once, but never thrown it since. And that was probably about, yeah, almost 10 years ago. But let me grab that, let me show you guys. Boom! Oh wait, let me take it off. I'm gonna be throwing the A-Rig, AKA Alabama Rig, AKA Umbrella Rig. All with underspins. Well, I got three underspins on it and two standard jig heads. I don't even know how heavy this is or how light it is, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Maybe get lucky, get three spotties on one, five spotties on one, one spotty on one, no spotty on one. We'll see how it is and hopefully uh, we'll get something to bite it. Uh, I'm also gonna put some probably 2.8 um, Kitex on here, some easy shiners or maybe some fat swing impacts. We'll see how I'm feeling. I'm gonna rig it up and I'm gonna chuck it out there. We are fishing the incoming tide. I believe last night was the new moon. So this swing might be difficult for us. Who knows, and maybe they ate a lot last night. We'll see, you know, it is fishing. This is the reality of it. If we get, all right. Well, if we get bit, we get bit. We know we don't, you know, it is what it is. It's fishing, it's part of the game and hopefully we get something to bite. So you guys stay tuned and wish us luck and enjoy. All right, hopefully something eats this. Oh, that was a hit. Yeah, I yeah, got one hit. Oh! That's like 50 bucks I just lost right there. Wrapped around my guide. Well, there goes my day. So much for an A-Rig. Just really hoping to get something on it. Good luck trying to get it back. On iron? Yeah. Dragging it on the bottom. That's like a good one. Oh, Sargo. Oh, Croker. What? He ate that bait, dude. He actually ate it. Off the bottom. There you go. <laughs> not, not the target. <laughs> Remember that's how you did like the Chovy? Yeah. I got a fish too. Oh, hell of it. Check that out, guys. Double up. I thought I was, I thought I got my A-Rig for a second. Did you? Yeah. Look, both on the Jigpara. Little baby halibut and the croaker. We'll take it. Yeah. Dang. I was just bouncing this at the bottom, and next thing you know, I got smashed. I didn't even know I had a fish on. Here you go, little guy. <laughs> right? Cool. <laughs> Double up. A halibut and croaker. Hella random. I really thought I had my A-Rig. I just I bounced. I had it at first too and then, it, and then I felt head shakes. I was like, what? That's a fish. Yeah, I told you they like Chovy, bro.
the grass up shallow. There we go. I'll take a jerk bait bass any day. Check that out right there. Rapala Shadow Rap. I was hoping for a hell of it, but I'll take it. Yep, on the Shadow Wrap, deep 11, slow sinking. But it's a freshwater bait, it's not gonna sink here. But got this guy. Peace out, homie. It's always nice to get any fish on a jerk bait out here. Just the bite's so much fun for him. But getting them to bite is the tricky part. Just gotta find them, keep casting, put in a time, and eventually you'll get something. That isn't a mackerel. Oh. This guy hammered it. No, it's okay. <laughs> Another one on the Rapala. I'll take it. This guy hit it like a train. Hit it hard. One thing I hate about jerk bait fishing, unhooking them. Unhooking them is the hard part. He hit it good too, dude. There we go. Second spotty on the shadow wrap, deep 11. I don't know why I haven't been throwing this bait. It's a good deep diver. All right, dude, see you later. You need luck? Uh, just a couple little small bass. Good, good morning to you. <laughs> Try sardine color. Sardine. You notice that? It's like quick to take it off, slow to put it back on. Yeah, they're, they're fat. There you go, little guy. Damn it. I heard it too. I felt it when I when I casted it, I felt my finger hit it. Got it. Oh, whoa. That was epic, dude. I saw a doop doop. What the? Ooh. Oh. Better one? Yeah. Uh, way better, dude. That's, that's like a 12. Ooh. <laughs> Too soon. Good one, dude. On the jig para. Yeah. They're biting the weirdest colors, but they won't bite natural. I know. I noticed I would not when I overhead. That's what I was doing the whole time. What I like about this bait is that you never have to change the plastic. I know. <laughs> Just a hook. Oh. 
Ooh. Saw my line pop. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Dude, I saw my line pop and it just went. Oh, really? Yeah. Feels pretty heavy, dude. Oh, halibut, halibut, legal, 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 legal. <laughs> this fish grips, or get pliers. Get my long pliers. Hurry up, hurry up. Pliers in his mouth and grab his bottom lip. That's what. Try grabbing by the tail. Yeah. By the tail, by the tail. Let go of that line. Let go of that line. I'll bring you to the side. Grab by the tail. Oh shit, he's on one hook. You know what? That's it. Oh, oh f I burn on him. Go, 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 go. Yo! Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bent the hook. Bent the hook right out and cut my finger. We'll go split it open. Dude. <sighs> Shit, Come on, that jig for Where we bounced him. Broke the hook. <laughs> Look, he bent that hook right out. <sighs> Damn, that shit hurt, dude. Split my finger right down this thing, yeah. I saw that one last hook in there, yeah, like, yeah. we gotta go. Dude. Wait, wait. We gotta lay him on top. 24. 24, 22. Dude, this, this is 24, bro. Tip to tail, <laughs> right? There, guys, here's a the tip. The mouth right there. You guys can see that? Proof? Twenty-three, twenty-three and a half. Yep. Hell yeah, dude. Good Hell shit, yeah. bro. And I was like, Good I saw him come. I was like, oh, legal, 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 legal. on the jig farm. <laughs> oh, dude, have him bent that hook out. Look at this shit, dude. Did you break off? Yeah. You broke off? It broke off right when I found him in midair. Dude, look at that, dude. Just look. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, I'm shaking for you, bro. Oh one too. Dude, he he was hooked two trebles, and then this one went under the gill, but it didn't pierce it. Yeah. And then it popped again. This one I saw it bending. I'm like, I gotta bounce him. I gotta bounce him. Yeah, I mean, I cut my hand, but yeah. worth it. Here we go. 23 and a half, 24 inches right here. Finally. I've been grinding so hard before for this guy. Broke off on so many legal halibut throughout the past about two, three months fishing with James right here while waiting from shore, all that stuff. Even in the surf, I lost something big. And look, finally got one. Finally got one right here. <laughs> go home, make some tacos or something out of it. Finally on it. Got him on the OG jig para. Check that out. I bent that hook out, dude. We, we tried to land him. It was hard to land him. We didn't have fish grips or anything like that. It was hard to, uh, you know, actually gill him and stuff. Uh, what's it called? Um, James fairly knew I tried to land a hell of him. Finally, got one. Oh my goodness, guys. Right on this jig para. Bent out the hook. Broke me off right when I bounced him up. It was, it was very, very scary. Let me tell you guys. I even cut my pinky. That mono slipped right through my finger. So I got that on a 20 gram jig para. This beautiful fish right here. Cannot beat that. Uh, let me talk about something real quick. I'm gonna set this guy down. You guys know, I mentioned in my other video, I've been, uh, I got a new finesse combo. Let me show you guys. It, ha it handled that, that halibut, don't get me wrong. I'm on 10 pound test, but that drag was perfect. Every time he dipped out, it was perfect. It was smooth, it didn't jitter, it didn't pop, it didn't slip. So it was perfect when we we're trying to land that halibut. So every time he took off, it just, it was a smooth drag. So I, I definitely recommend it so far. I got it paired with the Majorcraft Nano Ace, the finesse rod. This is a seven foot three, medium light, extra fast action. Rated up to quarter ounce, eight pound test. It is a two piece, as you guys can see. What you guys need to know about these Nano Aces is if they're over seven foot, they're all two piece. Uh, that's how the Japanese guys do it over there in Japan for the two piece rods. And it helps for shipping too, shipping costs. But I got it on this guy, 10 pound J Braid X4. Yeah, X4, the four strand. On 10 pound floor liter, red label Seeger. Super stoked, I'm beyond, beyond ecstatic about that. And I finally got it. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, man. Definitely worth it. Like I mentioned earlier in my video, in the beginning of this video, started off very, 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 very bad. I mean, maybe 10, 20 minutes in, uh, Lost my A-Rig. I just got that A-Rig, rigged it up with cool baits, Kytex, cast it, line wrapped around the tail, boop, broke off. So James right here, being a good gentleman he is, he tried to retrieve it, but while he was trying to retrieve the A-Rig, he was catching fish on top of that. So I told myself, I was like, you know what, what we'll make up for this is if I catch a legal hell of it. And sure enough, two hours in, or two and a half hours in, it's 8.30, 9 o'clock right now, we finally got one. And you know what guys, that A-Rig is, is not even on my mind anymore. Not even on my mind anymore. Beautiful fish, but there you go guys. Super excited for that. And like I said, I mentioned all my videos. Just get out there and try it, all right? Just keep grinding, your time will come and you will be rewarded. Time on the water is a must and it is a requirement in this, in this craft, in this hobby. You know, you can't just expect to come out here and just cast and catch a fish every single damn time. But you just got to do it. And finally, I got one. After like 50, 60, 1,000 shorts, I finally got a Lego. We're going to call it a day right there. And like I said in all my videos, whatever you guys want to know that I used, gear, tackle, lure, line will be in the description below. I'll even link that right here. I won't even link it. I'll caption it right here. If you have any questions or anything like that, comment below. Hit me up on Instagram. All the information is in the description below. Everything I use, my Instagram contact, all that stuff. But let's keep this year going. Stay on a positive note. Stay positive. I'm going to shut it on right there, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Oh, yeah. Uh, disclaimer. Where I fished. I've seen a lot of people fish there, I've seen a lot of people film there, and I guess it was okay, so we gave it a shot, and I, I caught a legal halibut, so just to let you guys know that, alright, before anyone burns me on that or anything like that, I saw, the other night, last night actually, even asked James, we saw like 20 guys on that dock, 
they were yeah. filming, they were fishing, and they were like baiting and waiting and stuff. So we just came there, simple tackle, two rods, a backpack, and yeah, we did it. But all right, guys, enough of this rambling. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, good fishing. Peace the hell out.